In IOTA Tutorial 26, I have explained how to safely store a seed and how to set up two-factor authentication in your Trinity wallet. However, I have left out some important details which I am trying to correct with this video. If you enable two-factor authentication on your Trinity wallet and the two-factor authenticator and the Trinity wallet are installed on the same mobile phone, this will not provide you with any additional security. Why? If a thief steals your mobile phone and your Trinity wallet password, this person has also access to the two-factor authenticator, which means two-factor authentication in this situation does not provide you with any security. Installing the two-factor authenticator and the Trinity wallet on the same mobile phone makes no sense. Two-factor authentication only provides additional security if the Trinity wallet and the two-factor authenticator are installed on separate devices. For example, the authenticator on the mobile phone and the Trinity wallet on the other mobile phone. If a thief steals your mobile phone and your Trinity wallet password, it still cannot access your Trinity wallet. The thief also needs this mobile phone. Another example. Install the authenticator on a laptop and your Trinity wallet on a mobile phone. If a thief steals this mobile phone and your Trinity wallet password, it cannot access your Trinity wallet because the thief also needs this laptop with this authenticator. Please note, there is no desktop Google Authenticator available. You need to use another two-factor authenticator. When the desktop Trinity wallet is available, the two-factor authenticator can be installed on the mobile phone. If a thief steals your laptop and your Trinity wallet password, it cannot access your Trinity wallet. The thief also needs your mobile phone. As I have mentioned in IOTA Tutorial 26, always write down your checksum. The checksum consists of three characters. You use the checksum to verify if you entered your seat correctly. Each seat generates a different checksum. When you enter 81 characters in this box, you will see your checksum. In this particular situation, this checksum tells me that I have entered my seat correctly. However, there are people who have created their seat manually, for example, using dices, a bag with scrabble letters, etc. They will not have a checksum. In this particular situation, when setting up the Trinity wallet, Make sure the seat is entered correctly and write down the checksum. After you have set up your wallet, select Settings, then Account Management, select View Seat. Your seat will be displayed. Now compare the written down seat with the one displayed on the screen. If both seat matches, then you have verified that the written down checksum is correct and belongs to your seat. Save this checksum together with your seat. Please note, these previous steps are only intended for people who manually created their seat and do not have a checksum and want to know their checksum. If you cannot access your Trinity wallet because you have lost your password or you have problems with the two-factor authentication, then there's only one solution. First delete and reinstall the Trinity wallet. Set up the Trinity wallet again by entering your backup seat. When you have entered your seat, make sure the checksum is correct. Enter a password to secure your Trinity wallet. You can enter your old password or you can enter a new password. The password is only used to give you access to your wallet. Now your Trinity wallet is set up and ready to use. You can install the Trinity wallet on multiple mobile phones using the same seat and using different passwords or the same password. Each of these mobile phones will give you access to the same accounts and balance information because you use the same seat. But for security reasons, I do not recommend that you install the Trinity wallet on multiple mobile phones. I just inform you that you can in case you really need it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. If you have questions, leave your comments below. I'll do my best to answer them.